What's going on guys, and today we're going to be talking about my expectations for Madden 18. Now the trailer released uh, about a week ago. I, wonder, I, really, I really wonder where that song went. But anyway, the trailer was released and it was probably the most exciting, most revealing, most unexpected trailer since Madden 16 when Odell Beckham was aggressive catching everybody with one hand. I'll have the Madden 18 trailer and my trailer reaction link below if you want to go watch it. But basically we're going to talk about some of the things that we saw in that trailer and then basically my general expectations over three topics. Those topics are team play, Madden Ultimate Team, and career mode. So first off with team play, if you don't know what team play is, it's a game mode where you can play from anywhere from two to six players. In NBA 2K, you can go five on five, you're able to choose your position, so point guard, shooting guard, small forward, center, power forward, whatever, and you're able to go against five other opponents on the same court. It's awesome. We have been begging for this as Madden fans to just have a mode to where we can play with our friends on the same team. I don't know why EA would take that away from us the last time we had team play was in madden 25 but i think this is going to cause a lot more sales just because you can finally play with your friend in the same game it's about time yeah in madden 25 you could go against three other opponents it could be three on three and your icon for each player would be either yellow pink or orange that's how you were able to tell who you who was who you had the option between three positions you could be on offense you could be a quarterback a running back or a wide receiver um this year i believe you'll all have quarterback running back wide receiver and tight end just because tight ends are more a uh, staple uh in the nfl now with the greg olson to gronkowski's the tyler eiferts they're all amazing players and act just like receivers so i think you'll be able to select a wide receiver on offense in the pre-game menu on defense you could best be anybody it could be a defensive tackle which also you could be a uh, defensive end a linebacker a cornerback or a safety this was all in madden 25 you also had the option to choose just any. Just like 2Ks, if you choose a point guard, you're locked with being a point guard the entire game. If you choose a running back, you are locked to be a running back. Or if you chose a safety, you are locked to being a safety the entire game. They also had an option to just choose any to where you could just switch between whoever you want to be at the current time. So if you're with three of your friends and you guys want to rotate who's quarterback each drive, you had the option to do that because it wasn't locked, it was just any. So you could literally be any person on the field. I think that feature will come back. It was a feature that I liked. If they try to push competitive team play Madden, which I don't think they will do this year, I think that it's better to be locked. I played a lot of Game Battles, which is a competitive uh, online site um, in Madden 12 with team play. And the, having a locked, uh, having team play be locked on positions just made the game more smoother and made it you could glitch the game less basically what i'm saying so i think if they try to make it competitive then players will have to be locked but i don't think they will this year team play is a fan favorite feature uh there's a lot of things that you can do with team play and i'm happy that it's coming back major point right here team play you could only play with regular teams so like a dallas cowboys the philadelphia eagles uh the new orleans saints atlanta falcons only regular teams i don't see them making it where you can play with ultimate team so let's say you're teaming up with two other of your friends and your friend bob has a 99 overall team but you only have like an 87 you want to play with bob's ultimate team because he has a better team right so you can use the better players you'll probably have a, an advantage i don't see them incorporating ultimate team and team play this year i think this will be a uh this is just going to be like a trial year it's just hey we're bringing this back type of year and i try to incorporate ultimate team and team play in the future which i hope i really wish they could do it this year but i don't see it happening i also don't see draft champions team play being a thing i think they're just going to make it basic how it was in madden 25 when they were last the last time they had it moving on to topic two we now have ultimate team now we didn't see anything in the trailer from ultimate team so this is basically all speculation i'm going to talk about things that worked in madden 17 and some things that didn't work so madden 17 was the year of the solo grinder if you bought packs you were basically doing the wrong thing uh they had multiple journeys this year they had vip solos for completing 500 solo challenges and 2000 now um some of the solos completions like would give you a string of games with like eight games would give you 100k a string of games would give you like bundles it was great for grinders this year i see the i see them doing that again next year they want to keep grinders they want you to keep playing the games so you can tell about other friends and hopefully if you're staying on the game you have a better chance they have a better chance to give some type of microtransaction from you so i think grinding will come back and be just as good if not better in madden 18 i think daily solos will come back so um solos that come 
daily and weekly sellers will come back, I believe. So things that come out on like Team of the Week sellers will come out on Monday. I think those will come back. Ultimate Legends and Legend sellers will come on a Saturday or on the weekend. I think those will come back. Same with thing with flashbacks. I think weekly sellers will be back. Journey will be back. Um, and then any type of master sets. I think they'll continue the master sets. I think they're going to continue like you put all these cards for one big card. So I think masters will always come back. As far as head-to-head -head seasons, I think seasons will be in the game from the very beginning. It won't be like this year where they brought it in uh, three or four months into the game. I think seasons and championships and being able to win the Super Bowl will be there from the very beginning, which it should be. I think they'll have their All-Pro, Pro, All Madden shrinks back again. I wish, I kind of wish they would change that because they're kind of, they work, but they're just kind of weird. I, I've never really been a fan of that. But I think those will be back as well. The item binder limit, I believe that will go up uh, at right now. Uh, with Mutt Rewards, which will also be back, I believe. It's at 1700 for the max. I think that will go up to 2000 or 2500 I think we're going to still have four tiers. So, Bronze, Gold, Silver, and Elite tier. I don't see that changing. I think Chemistries will be back. Uh, with as, as well as Abilities. So, like, uh, Tip Drill, Pick 6, and new Chemistries that came into the game that are more Ability type things. I believe those will come back as well. And I believe Chemistries, the same ones that you saw in this year's game, will also be back. Draft Champions will be back, and I believe that they will update it like they should have this year um, from the very beginning instead of waiting two to three months like they did. Really, they rated like three to four months, which really killed the vibe of Draft, draft Champions this year, where in Madden 16, since it was a new game mode, they put all the effort into it. Um, I don't see them do I don't see them doing that with team play. I think they're just going to put team play there and kind of focus more on competitive Madden this year. The last topic we have to talk about is career mode. Now, we saw basically a sneak preview of career mode in the trailer. It was the basically the most hyped up thing that they, we got from the trailer. I think they're going to continue to hype it up. However, I don't think it's what everyone thinks it's going to be. This is not going to be NBA 2K My Career. NBA has been doing My Career for years. They pretty much have it down packed. It's amazing. Like, the, it's really... People, since they've been doing it for so long, people don't give as much credit to, K, to 2K as they should. But I believe that the career mode for Madden is going to be basically the exact same that the journey was for FIFA 17. Madden loves to copy FIFA. They copied FIFA with FIFA points to Madden Madden points. They've copied the timer and limited bundles basically from FIFA. Madden used to never have that. So I think they're going to copy Journey the exact way and make it career mode. So basically what I see it happening, what I see happening, you are a five-star, four-star prospect coming out of college. You, you go through the Combine, which is why they showed the Lucas Oil Stadium, because the Combine was at Lucas Oil Stadium this year. Uh, you go through the Combine, you go through the draft, you get drafted, you start out as a very low overall, you work your way, you grind away, you're only able to play one season. I only see one season happening, I don't see it being multiple seasons like 2Ks. You play one season and then it carries over into the next year. So from Madden 18 until Madden 19, you'll be able to carry over and pick up your process that's what i see happening i don't see it being multiple seasons um i see it being a lot of cut scenes a lot of cinematics more like a movie like you're playing in a movie you don't have really much control so i think it's gonna be very basic very cookie cutter um it's a new mode so i really can't complain um it's definitely not what i would hope for obviously something like a t uh, my career is the gold where you're able to play online with your uh creative player like a superstar mode but um, I just don't see it happening, which kind of sucks. But yeah, those were my expectations. Um, we have EA Play, which is in June. Was We have EA Play on June 10th, which is in three weeks. So uh, YouTubers and um, anyone in the media covering EA, covering Madden, is going to go out to that event. And we'll see a lot of gameplay, get a lot of information from that. But that's three weeks from now. I want to give uh, my expectations of the game. Let me know what you think about my expectations and what are your expectations, your realistic expectations for the game. I'm going to be doing a wish list soon, um, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. If you're coming back, because I'm uploading a lot now, since it is the summer, check me out. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm signing out. Peace. That ain't my girl, that's my nigga. Catch me out on Ocean Drive with her. Hey, catch me in the whip, ride with her. Hey, sipping something, bumping big, hypnotized with her.